You actually will need a university degree soon for Path of Exile. It's wild. Wild. Hi, Zizarin here with another harvest video. It's right around the corner and we now have the gem information. So this video is going to be like me going over the new gems and uh, looking at them. Ancestral Cry, 257 armor, part 5 power up to a max of 1540. It's a decent size. That's a, like, like two helmets or okay chest piece. Strike two additional enemies. So it's pretty much enough. You can, with probably like very low investment you can either have it on instant cry but i could see that you can pretty much permanently have this up especially on slower attacks probably with a little investment on like medium attacks as well that you can always have the uh strike two additional enemies up that like base cooldown eight seconds you're already getting cooldown recovery on the gems that'll help a lot the fact that we can even get a little bit there earth shatter just decent decent base damage and everything like that max 15 spike the fact that there is a maximum spikes because you'd probably assume that you can't earth shadow your own spikes which i think is going to make the skill feel terrible if you have to use a different slam oh it actually says specifically in the actual name or other slam attack performed by you that feels i think that's gonna feel horrible i think some people are going to enjoy the playstyle, but not not a fan that's not for me at least. But you know, there's good to have different alternatives. I can see people complaining about that though. Generals cry and generals cry support. Five Mirage Warriors, two corpses per five power. Pretty easy to hit the max there then. I think generals cry is actually gonna be pretty great. The Mirage Warriors each use a linked attack once before disappearing. So you like you don't even have to use this yourself. You just have to have a weapon. Supports melee attack skills, so I can I can link it with something that I'm not like directly using myself. It's not gonna like if I'm using earthquake, it's not forced to use earthquake. So that's cool. That is like making generals cry kind of like a you know mirage archer for melee, but also kind of stronger in a way. Like I I kind of like it. Intimidating cry, enemies are intimidated, so that's ten percent more damage. So overwhelm is like basically like fist damage reduction penetration, but it doesn't go below zero. So you can't negatively penetrate with uh, overwhelm. Exerted attacks deal double damage. Only two melee attacks though. Really favoring lower attacks and earthquake and stuff like that. Really, really, really want to be slow. But still, like honestly, if you can somehow get this up permanently and you're attacking slow enough, I think it's going to be harder to use in maps. But if you can get... The node that you grab, like, exert uh, one additional attack, so you get three and pretty high cooldown recovery. I think Intimidating Cry is going to be insane. Like, that's over double damage just from this. Seismic Cry. Buff grants enemy stun threshold reduction. I hate the new version of stun. At least before, it was, like, kind of cool, and you could be like, sure, I can see it. Now, don't really see it. I, I don't feel like I would invest into stun to sometimes stun a boss. Like, it's already annoying to, like, invest into it. Sure, we do bigger hits now, so it's easier to stun. But it's still like, hey, you want to invest into, like, just killing the boss faster? Or do you want to, like, actually use points to sometimes stun a boss? Excellent. Exerted attack deal 30% more damage per previous attack exerted by this war cry. So wait, it's going to do 30, 60, 90, 120% more damage. Is That's how I'm reading it. But that also makes it really strong with the plus one exert. Because then it's 30, 60, 90, 120. And the last one's going to do 150% more damage. So if you do like 30, 60, 90, 120, 150. And then the intimidate and double damage here. It's 260% more damage. In those two gems. That's kind of bonkers. I can see Earthquake or just 200 slam skills being in. We're going to see some insane clips and videos from software, I think. And 30% NQE per previous attack exerted. Seismic Cry is kind of cool. That's actually kind of cool. That it's going to go like... Poof, 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 poof. I feel like that's what they're going for. That exact sound as well. I'm excited. Arcanist Brand. So this is like Spell Totem, but for brands. And 40% uh, reduced chaining range. Limited projectile range. Oh, wow. 
They've used things like Fireball. I wonder how short they're going to be. Or like Spark. 40% less AoE. This is a level 20. I honestly, I think Arc Arcanist Brand sounds really fun on paper. But they look very limited now. Supporter Seal still 59% more damage. That's decent. All the other stuff. Maybe it could be decent single target. It's a bit hard to tell. Pendant's Brand. Wait, what's the activation frequency? Oh, are we 0.5 seconds? That's actually like, that's not exactly like high, high damage stats. Fairly low damage effectiveness. This is the one I was the least excited about. I would love to see some really cool builds and just be like, wow, I would buy this. But 150% more damage with its per energy. Actually, that does sound a little spicy, doesn't it? 20 energy and there's 150% more plus one energy. So it just explodes then. So 20 times 150, 3000% more damage. Did I do something wrong there? That just sounds insane. That could be kind of interesting, actually. I, I, I'm more hopeful for it. Maybe I was initially wrong. Winter Tide Brand. This one, I think it can be kind of cool, even though it doesn't have a hit. Like, it doesn't have a hit, but more cold dot stuff is... Like, I hate Vortex. Um, like, it's insanely strong. I just, like, I don't I don't really like playing it myself. I feel like it's... it's um, There's just something missing from it. But uh, they are very, very strong. Like, the only thing that I see the worry of this is that you're going to have to invest into brands, but you're also going to have to invest into cold dot. So it might just be a little bit too much to fit. Like, it's just maybe a little too skill point tight. It'll be interesting to see as well. Definitely don't feel safe starting brands. Ooh, Fist of War support. I want to see what the cooldown is at level 20. Attacks with supported skills are boosted no more than once every 1.8 seconds. That is very slow. I think that this is going to very, very easily feel great while leveling. And then might feel worse in the end game. And I think especially if you are trying to clear fast, it'll feel bad. But I think this is going to feel very powerful. I think this is has a has a big chance of being something that makes the player just feel really good where you just go like bonk oh uh, and that could be really good i think 148 percent more damage with hits 100 percent with ailments and nearly 60 percent in koe so then again this is probably going to be affected by cooldown recovery on like your belt and boots then getting it down to like 1.4 Earthquake, some big AoE. Maybe that's completely fine. That it's going to be on like nearly every other attack. And if it's on, if you're slow enough that it's on every attack, that's nice. That's nice. It's 148%. So even if you get one off every third attack, or slightly less than every third attack, like on every second attack, it's an insane damage gem. Uh, urgent orders. Supported skills of plus two seconds to cool down. With 59% war cry speed. I guess if you're running multiple, this could feel really good. Especially with second wind. Oh, especially with second wind. Yeah, that could be pretty cool. But we're running out of sockets here. Swift brand support, 65% less attached duration. That's v that's a that's a lot. The fact that it's that slow, I don't know. It could be pretty cool with penance brand, but it's also like it's gonna make it not last very long. I don't know. The fact that you're giving up a skill gem slot for this maybe it could be a little bit stronger, but we'll see, I guess. Earthquake. I could see Vala Earthquake builds being huge this thing. It's like a Vala Molten Shell at level 20. 35%. Yay, the Reflect is boosted. Buff can take 30% of your armor. Hmm. Hmm. Vala Fireball. Look at that, dude. Dude, self cast Vala Fireball could be really cool with Unleash. I really wish Unleash worked with Vault Skills. That'd be so cool. It'd be like, it would feel so powerful. It would really, like, maybe Unleash, like, made it, like, cast, like, four times more Vault Souls or something. But just, just something to make it just feel like a superpower. Like, you know, like, in some games where you have, like, an ultimate ability and it's like, you know what? We're under pressure. Boom! Wipe the screen kind of thing that you only use once per map or so. I think PoE could, like, I think that's what... Some Vol skills could be. Maybe when combining them with Unleash. The damage effectiveness of Fireball now is just so insane. They gain Radius, everything just... Oh, they're so nice. 
very tempted to try using them at the least start. I want to see the Christ. That's like the main thing I want to look at. Cooldown time, six seconds. Regenerate nearly 2,000 life over one second. I wonder how that works when you like increase the duration or if it's like hard capped. That's going to be really interesting to see. If it's hard capped, it's still really good. Like then you want to like get a lot of cooldown recovery. If you get it down to like three or four seconds, getting that amount of life. Well, you can probably get more if you increase the buff effect. But getting like 2.5k life every second um, with like a three second cooldown, that's that's huge. That's a lot of defense. That's going to feel very, very nice, I think. Oh, and I see it's skill effect duration as the quality here, not cooldown recovery. Interesting. Really hope that the life regen is affected by it. Then we have another very, very strong um, defensive skill. Rallying cry, eight seconds. So many things that will actually like increase your damage and more multiply your damage. Brand recall. I think I think brand recall is gonna be fine though. I actually thought that was gonna get hit a lot harder. Um, the brand recall itself, the way they talked about it, I was expecting like a six, seven, eight second cooldown time or something. So that's actually not too bad. With less duration. It's currently 49. Wow. So it's got a 10% boost. That's great for things like Earthquake. That's excellent. Uh, same amount of more damage though, but just 10% more... 10% uh, more less skill effect duration. <laughs> more less. And Shockwave support got buffed. Very, very excited for that. Something I've always wanted to use, but you need to use staves or maces. And I've been like, eh. That was like the main gem things that I really wanted to go over and look. The Enduring Cry thing, I think it's going to be insanely strong for everything that's anywhere near the bottom left of the tree. Uh, like, a lot of my witch builds are going to travel there just for a shit ton of life. And then getting like instant Enduring Cry. I really hope that we can make the uh, life regen buff last forever. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the gem changes. I'm currently working on a lot of starter guides for you guys. So, hope you guys will enjoy that. Thanks for watching. Good luck in Harvest. And try to die less than I do.